Hello and welcome everybody, I'm Christian from Berlin. This lesson has again become so much more than just one riff. What will you learn here? First, you will learn the original riff as played by Vince Weber. And then, um, I will make you suggestions. I'll show you how to move a riff to the subdominant, in this case, to G. Very instructive for the boogie boogie player. Then, I uh, will show you to play something on A7 so that um, after in this lesson alone you can you know put a whole boogie boogie together. Um, and lastly, I will um, transpose the basic riff to C for those who are scared of D. I'll also link some boogie boogies in the description box. If you enjoyed all this, leave a like, help my channel to grow. Let's go. we have yes that's weird huh? the the third is not even touched you know this is the d7 as you know and we leave the third out and we start on the one with the fifth of d and the seventh and then we have and once you're getting uh, used to this strange grip because you never played it it was like always a little bit closer here now we have this but once you manage you play it you can play it quite easily you can accelerate it like uh, Vince Weber is playing this as a uh, double the light speed like incredible and now you can do it in G one five seven it starts one five seven one five seven one five seven is the intervals and not the lottery numbers uh, here and then you do the same do the same in in uh, in a then one five seven a fifth five here seven here minus seven of course now for the uh, for the right hand uh, we practice this uh, to get the right hand to understand the right hand we do our regular here that's much easier because then you know the the one more clearly because then I play the one I play the root okay So the tricky bit is two tricky bits in uh, uh, blues in D is uh, this bit. In C we can slide the minor third to the major third. Yeah, we just need a little bit of grease on this key and we slide automatically. Blues musicians have um, usually grease have greasy hands. That's why the uh, how the blues uh, technique developed. They were living in, in the dirt. And uh, they usually had the, uh, from the railways, they had the grease on their fingers and they wanted to play the minor uh, 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 third and they always slipped. That's how it, that's the factual, in fact, the reason for this. No, don't believe me what I'm saying. Anyway, if we want to uh, get the same effect on D, then we have to use two fingers. Okay, so the first challenge is one and two and three and four and one and then Second challenge. One and two and three and four and one. Add it to two. Add it to two. Here you go. Sometimes he's I, I slowed it down and I figured out he's doing it a little bit different. Uh, like sometimes he plays. something like this you know he's playing if you slow a boogie pianist down you will find all sorts of uh, sloppiness which of course serve the style anyway so one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two
he's playing this only in D. But hey, I'm I'm at your service, and we want to see how, what we can do if we can play if we can play it or uh, invent something for G. For the scepter man, because he's only riffing this um, on D. And I thought of something. Okay, L listen to if you like this. And I want you also to learn to get inspired how you can transpose, uh, transform, sometimes it's just transposing or transform licks into the septum in it. Um, hold on. Let me just check uh, what I, uh, what I, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes. How do you like that? Yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks. I can hear your applause. Yeah. We start on the uh, um, on the G with the three of uh, of G seven and the nine. Now, what I did was I kind of took the outline of the lick and then I look, looked for notes that sound good with, with this outline. Something like this, you know, that when it, 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 it echoes the... And I came to this. Just a suggestion, if you like. What did I do? We first we do it uh, with the uh, um, with the without this this power slide, which only me and uh, all others can play. One and two and three and four and one and two. Yeah. So we have this row down. Mm -ba. Mm -ba -do -ba. Them. Here you've got to be in time. The rest you can play um, in a like careless fashion. Mm. Mm -ba. Again, one and two and three and four and one and two. One and two and three and four and one and two. I know. Uh, and slow. It's really hard. Let me just check again. Sorry about that. So this is basically comes on the end, yeah. One and two and three and four and. Okay, so yeah, sometimes I play the octave, sometimes just this note. Okay, then we then we have it. So one, one and two and three and four and one and two. And if you want, if you didn't have enough and you want a little bit more headache, just sometimes we have some headache and do you know the feeling if you have headache and you just wish you had a little bit more of headache? Yeah, we are called masochists. And if we play boogie boogie, you gotta be a little bit masochistic. Okay, now, of course, I, we could, Vince Weber would definitely play it like this. Take a triple slide. One slot. Yeah. Or the good ones they do always they take even one more note. Yeah? 
everything to solve that it gets flow. Okay, let's have a look at this one. You can start this on the one, like uh, one and two, three and four and or, as I did in the example, one, we, we come from D, two and three and four and one and two and three and. We have a look at this first bit. One and two and three and four and one and two and three, four, and here again. But when you play it fast, this uh, pulls like comes together, like yeah. But it's and then Again, so you know these uh, swooshes down are both times these notes, and both times we circle the major third of D when we, because we come back to D and we circle the D left, uh, right, left, and then we hit the uh, the F sharp. We circle the F sharp. Sorry. Okay. Again, I leave out the tremolo because that's confusing for now. Got it? Great. Got to move on. Now uh, the, the basic riff coming in C for you C players. Yeah, think of everybody. Let's have a look uh, for, the, for that riff in C. What we do is um, we um, have a look again at the one in D. So it starts on seven three five okay and then it goes to the one then our thirds that we know already you you recognize if you subscribe to my channel you know all the terminology of our royal thirds the royal thirds are these indeed so again we start we have the seven major third and five royal thirds on d and then, okay, now, one, three, five. Now, uh, um, as it uh, begins, first in seven, three, five. Okay, we are on C now. Seven, here, minus seven, three, five. So it starts here. Then the th first of the, of the thirds, or the second one, you know? So. Then we could also uh, break this down in the intervals, but it's just from the okay from the fifth major third minor third one five three three one in C that is five three three one you know both thirds and the one so and 
here we have that which in D is. Yeah, here we do the two finger up, upward slide, and here we do our regular that you know from so many blueses in C. Okay, and then we have it. One and two and three and four and one. And this sounds also great, uh, non-shuffled, straight, like this. And also, when we don't play it like a rocket, so you can play it like, just like. Great tempo. Huh. I hope you have served you well. It's my pleasure and my honor. And um, go to my uh, uh, playlists. Sometimes people think, well, Where's all your boogie woogie? And I say, like, there's a boogie woogie playlist. This also goes into the boogie woogie playlist. Yeah, there you find more. Bye bye from Berlin. <laughs>